Now, as soon as I did that, I felt an explosion of energy go this way and then it dissipated. So I'm in control, so I can do this. If someone else is doing it, they have to be very sensitive. Ooh, and that's painful. That's like a level six. This was a level three. That's a level six, seven. So I'll just leave that be. So this is in between the, the hand bones, right in the muscle. So there's a bone there. There's a bone there. And you can see the blood vessels. So I just chose a spot without a blood vessel. Because if you go through a blood vessel, it might bleed. It doesn't matter, but you don't want to do that. I'll take this one out. Take this one out. If you don't stretch, then it's not as beneficial. You stretch, you get the full benefit. This finger is locked. You can see the changes. That finger is normal looking. That finger has a kink in it. It's because it's full of stress. And you stretch it out as much as you can painful I can feel the tightness in here and here and here that's because these muscles are just off alignment they've been this way only about 12 years it comes and goes it's like dang it's come back so when I'm in the yard using a hammer or wrench it just comes back the muscle memory comes back and on any count, so these needles, I can reuse. They're still good for me, not for anyone else. As long as the tips go through the skin efficiently, they're still good. You can straighten them out. and they lose their tensile strength over time. So you have to change them out. I cannot imagine using a needle, having to use a needle that's basically a dead needle. You can use it, they're wires, uh, but you don't have to. I mean, they're ubiquitous. You don't have to worry about them, and that's it. My hand treatment that I'll have to do for the rest of my life. Thanks for listening.